I'm Jessica Wills, and we are awaiting the star-studded arrival of the network's new extended family. The season is winding down, but fans are amped up to get one last chance to celebrate their team tonight. If you haven't been to a Defenders game, you're missing out. Diego, one of the things plaguing this team all season long have been the injuries. Coach Shevlin told me that each week there are seven to nine players who don't practice, and it comes down to a game-time decision to see if they're ready to play. Want to check out El Segundo's student athletes before they reach professional superstardom? See where these athletes began their careers as we explore their lives on and off the athletic field in this edition of Quick Hit. So we'll see who comes away with bragging rights for another year in this all-important league matchup. I noticed you're wearing a fuel band. Can I see how many points you have on there today? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, so we're just we're giving some yeah. excuses of why the numbers are low. Uh, kind, uh, <laughs> kind of, I guess. Did you have any other plays in the playbook tonight, or did you just throw to him on there? <laughs> no. Coach Gats, you had a couple of defensive lapses in that second quarter. I saw that you cleared the bench. What statement were you trying to make to your players? They need to actually come out and play. From the softball field to giving back to youth in the community, Eliana Morales is an all-star student athlete. I went to Sprinkles. Is that L.A.? Yes, that counts. What's your favorite cupcake? My favorite? Oh, Red Velvet. Here's a closer look at Hayden Green on this edition of Quick Kids. I'm with head coach Fody DeVolantis for El Segundo. Coach, what players are you looking to for big contributions today? Uh, big contributions. I mean, our goalie's always a big one. And there's always a lot of hype around rivalry games. What would coming away with a win today mean for the team? Um, it'd be a big win. The defenders are down 16 starting the second half. One of the biggest things hurting them are the charges second chance points. The defenders are going to have to rebound if they want to get back in this game. And the focus for the last three games is just to give it their all. The last time El Segundo played Torres, all three of their big men were out with the flu and they still came up with the win. This is the best part about the day, getting into all the cards. Good, good, good. Excellent. Don't mess with me, okay? Two of the biggest names right now in El Segundo football are gearing up for another exciting season. Not only do these guys share the same name, Austin Brasher and Austin Kirk share the same football accomplishments, academic achievements, and they even share the same childhood sports memories. We tackle the gridiron with the A-Team on this edition of Quick Hits. <laughs> Austin Kirk, number 85, tight end defensive end for the El Segundo Eagles. Austin Brasher, number 17, middle linebacker fullback for the El Segundo Eagles. Swing, and if you're an Eagles fan, there's a lot to look forward to. The team will look for huge contributions again from two of its star senior players, Austin Brasher and Austin Kirk. I expect big things out of them. I think they're both you know, primed to have super huge years. Better known on the football field as Big A and Little A, or together as... The A-Team. Yeah, the A-Team. The A-Team. The Austins have known each other since their youth, and they have been challenging each other to play harder and be better ever since. He got pulled up and cracked me in Pop Warner. He hit me pretty hard. <laughs> I was really surprised because he came up from the younger team, so he kind of knew it would be a fun high school year. And the fun has continued throughout their high school careers as they've racked up numerous accolades both on and off the field. So while these guys are the best of friends, there is nothing wrong with a little friendly competition. Kind of just get angry and push each other. Yeah. Play by play, trying to compete, who's better. It makes it fun and interesting. With the Eagles being picked as the league favorites, that may be the extra edge they need to live up to the expectations of the season. I think both of them lead by example. Uh, extremely hard working in practice. Uh, they play very big in games, and I think that feeds off the rest of the team. I kind of just like to think about the contact, and that gets me pretty fired up. 
I want to be remembered as the best, <laughs> the best in my position and the, the most hard-nosed player that we have. I want to be known as one of the best defensive end tight ends in the program. But what would be the most fun to them, of course, would be to... Win it all. Go out without any injuries and win the championship. CIF championship. Yeah. All the way. For El Segundo TV, I'm Jessica Wills.